Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about a modern deck, one of my favorite decks, Burn. Burn is one of the cheaper decks to build, minus the Goblin Guides, hopefully they reprint those ones relatively soon or they are in a event deck of some type. Burn, you need your Goblin Guides, you need your Burn spells, it's pretty obvious what's going to happen. You're going to attack with pretty much every creature you play, and you're going to burn to the face preferably at instant speed but a lot of times if you can get free damage for a red then that's a good value even at sorcery speed now you have lightning bolt lava spike uh rift bolt uh bump in the night some decks do splash black for bump in the night i find that it's okay because you have a lot of ways to get black you have a lot of ways to get the black red shock land um you can play fetch lands and it's not that big of an issue i honestly wouldn't play a swamp though so and then you have shard volley shard Vo volley is a bolt but it has a tremendous downside to it um and it's one of the cards that i would play last now, Pillar of Flames is pretty good. Uh, it's good against, essentially, Kitchen Finks. Kitchen Finks is a monster against you, and it's very difficult to beat that card. But that's also, that's very good against it. And also, Exiles Delver of Secrets. And that's another card that becomes extremely aggro. Um, you can either lose two ways. You can lose if they flip the Delver and they beat you down, or you can lose because they're gaining so much life. Now, the best cards actually come at the two mana slot, uh, Skullcrack. Skullcrack not only deals damage, but it also prevents life gain from Lightning Helix, from all types of stuff that would gain your opponent life. Uh, Rhino actually is probably pretty relevant too essentially it does between five to six damage if you play it correctly uh boros charm four damage for one card for two at instant speed not much else i need to say about that but you will have to splash white for that card searing blaze again a very good creature um i like it a lot um, not a very good creature, a very good instant kill spell. It kills a creature, and that being said, you do need a creature to kill before you can deal damage. Searing Blood, again, um, not that many differences in my perspective, but it used to do very well against Pod, and you can take down a Noble Hierarch or Birds of Paradise and then deal the free damage that would norm you would normally expect to deal on turn on that turn two. Next, um, Treasure Cruise is now banned. Uh, the card is banned. It's That's one of the uh, interesting relationships between burn because all your burn spells were in your graveyard and you can draw more burn spells and you can win the game. So Treasure Cruise is no longer with us, unfortunately. Uh, here are some other interesting picks. Flames of the Blood Hand. Interesting card. Uh, flame javelin so it deals four damage but i don't know it costs a little bit too much in my opinion and browbeat uh browbeat is a card that some people feel like is good but the large majority of the community feel like it's very bad i kind of like it now your creatures you can your creatures are one drops they are all one drops goblin guide for goblin guide has to be a four of in every single burn deck uh swift spear as i call it taylor swift does a massive amount of damage especially when you're chaining lightning bolt with a rift bolt with uh shard volley i mean it gets big extremely fast and you're doing a lot of damage so i like it a lot i would run a full playset with the goblin guys as a turn of one drop i'm okay with seeing either one of them but you definitely want to have one of them in your hand uh grim lava mancher this card is interesting because it has the ability to deal consistent damage which is what you don't have you don't have a card the only one problem with this deck is you run out of gas. If you run out of gas fast, you don't, you just dirtle and you lose. Grim Lava Magic gives you two damage a turn. It is very good. I like it a lot. In fact, I used to play um, Death Rite Shaman when it was still unbanned and modern and did actually a better job. But Grim Lava Magic, I would play the card Vexing Devil. Now, Vexing Devil is interesting. One for turn one, four damage is insane. That's pretty good but if you get creature that's pretty good too i like it um i wouldn't play a play set of them but i would play one or two to test and depending on what the meta is like four damage is a lot on turn one and that extra point of damage does matter a lot it matters a great deal for your deck because you're either going to kill your opponent 
your opponent's either going to go down to zero extremely fast or they would be stuck at four and you couldn't finish them off. So any point of damage, uh, any, any extra point of damage is very important in this type of deck and Vexing Devil, uh, it's very good. So essentially the deck is play as many lightning bolt effects as you can and just lightning bolt them to death. Uh, there's many different variants of this particular deck. Uh, the one I like the best is have as many one cost free damage or two cost four damage or skull and skull cracks instant instance um that you can save life so i view skull crack as five or six damage a lot of times uh especially kitchen finks or siege rhino which is being heavily played now and then there's that one card that gains them like 10 life or something for like two so <laughs> that card is really annoying uh, there's going to be a lot of hate against you and the sideboard you choose isn't it's kind of fragile because the hate um, comes from so many different avenues, uh, life gaining spells, life gaining creatures, uh, things, ley lines of where you cannot target your opponent anymore so you can't burn them out. If you're burning creatures, you're losing the game. And if they can make it so that you cannot burn them directly, then you're going to lose this game.